Hi everybody, Hello. Richie, community manager of NIMIC here. I'm with Julian, one of the designers of the team, the lead designer of NIMIC. He usually is working in Berlin, but he traveled all the way to Costa Rica to work uh, here with us. Like, it's better and easier sometimes to work in the same location. And I want to check with him the design work that was done for the different apps that were released lately. So why don't we start with the cache links? Yeah, sure. All right, so um, the cache links were an, an interesting project in that sense as that usually when we build interfaces for NIMIC, we try to apply as much as possible um, metaphors and um, techniques that we know from the real world or like from the um, traditional centralized world from um, products that everybody um, knows how to use um, to like to just make it simpler to get into this complicated blockchains, uh, blockchain blockchain um, uh, sphere. But here we're we were confronted with a feature that is actually something completely different, something that you can't really do um, in that way as we like to do it um, in. Um, in apps and um, services that already exist. So we had to come up um, with a new way that still felt intuitive. Um, that was definitely the challenge. Um, and um, what we did here, what you can see, uh, is uh, that actually sending a cache link is just like an alternative for sending a real transaction how you are used to it. Um, it's not like an entirely thing on its own, but it's it's an alternative. It's like, hey, okay, I don't have my contact, uh, like I don't have the address of the um, um, person that I want to send something, so I just create the cache link. Um, it's also great for onboarding new people that don't have an account yet because it gets you directly uh, into creating an account um, with an already pretty um, positive base feeling of getting some money for free, right? Um, so what I do here is I, I do basically exactly the same as sending a um, transaction. I can also add a message if I want to um, and I just click on create and that's it. It's like it can't get any simpler. Okay, then of course I have to input my password and then, um, and then I'm there. Um, then I just need to copy it, um, send it to someone. It takes some time to fund it because it needs to go through the blockchain of course. Um, but then, let's wait a second. Now I can copy it, and if someone else now opens this cache link, um, they get the screen with like having like those um, the little sparks here that you can see. Um, it, it, like the idea he, here was to make it a really delightful experience uh, to get a cache link, like something like a reward in a way. And then of course I get into account creation, and then all the stuff that we already know uh, happens. Yeah. That was the idea of um, having cache links, mainly as an onboarding tool in the end, because it's just very easy to convince a friend or someone uh, that doesn't have an account yet uh, of how easy and nice it is to, uh, to use this payment system. Interesting. So one of the, maybe the challenge here was to, to use the cache links in a way that don't overcome, like encumber the user with more information, more things to, more UX, because at the end, the cache link feels like sending another transaction. Exactly, yeah. And it feels, it looks very simple that probably trying to fit it into the existing flow of sending a transaction, yeah. whatnot. I mean, it's, it's actually even simpler than sending a regular transaction. Like, it's just entering an amount and clicking a button and entering your password then. That's all there is. Um, and um, I think that's a pretty nice way and also like, um, technologically uh, super nice that this is uh, that is something that we can do because it's a, a, a super easy way to send someone uh, to send someone money mm -hmm. cool very good explanation thanks a lot so um, we're going to continue uh, looking at the other apps that we have designed with the help of what well, that Julian has designed and has helped us bring to the NIMIC ecosystem Remember to subscribe if you want to, to watch the next one. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, leave any questions in the comments below. Uh, you can leave questions to, to Julian if you like the design, if you would go with uh, maybe another direction, you have some ideas. If you're actually a, maybe into design or of uh, illustration, and you want to like send some ideas also. Uh, yeah, we always highly appreciate every kind of feedback, if it's positive or negative. I, I mean, like in, 
Um, generally, we like negative um, or um, let's say critical feedback the most because that's actually something that we can learn from. So don't hesitate.